Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about multiplexer. A multiplexer is a combinational circuit which has many input lines and a single output line. Binary information from one of these many input lines is selected and directed to a single output line. This selection is done by selection lines. Bit combination applied to the selection lines determines binary information of which input line will be directed to output. If there are two raised power n input lines, then there will be n selection lines. Multiplexer is abbreviated as MUX. M -U -X. It's Size is specified by number of its input lines and the single output line. For example, 2 raised to power n cross 1. The size of uh, this multiplexer is 2 raised to power n cross 1 because it has 2 raised to power n input lines and a 1 output line. Now look at this multiplexer. It is a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. So it has 4 input lines and a single output line. Let I0 is the input applied to the first input line. I1 is the input applied to the second input line. I2 is the input applied to the third input line and I3 is the input applied to the fourth input line. S1 and S0 are here selection lines. Now, output line is labeled by variable f. Now see, when the value of s1 and s0 is 0, then the binary information at first input line will be directed to output. So in this case the value of output that is the value of f will be i0. When s1 equals to 0 and s0 equals to 1 then the binary information at second input line will be directed to output. So, in this case, the value of f would be i1. When s1 equals to 1 and s0 equals to 0, then binary information at third input line will be directed to output. So, in this case, value of f would be i2. When S1 equals to 1 and S0 is also equal to 1, then the binary information at fourth input line will be directed to output. So in this case, the value of F would be I3. Now this is the logic diagram of this. 4 cross 1 multiplexer. Now look here it's working. When the value of S1 and S0 is 0, when their value, value of S1 is 0 
and value of s0 is also 0. Then the output of this NOT gate would be 1 and output of this NOT gate will also be 1. And output of these two NOT gate is connected to the input of this AND gate. Another input of this AND gate is I0. Right. So the output of this AND gate would be I0. And in these AND gates, output of these three other AND gates will be 0. Now the output of all these AND gates is connected to the input of this OR gate. So in this case, the output of this OR gate would be I0. Right. So similarly, when the value of S1 is 0 and S0 is 1, the value of F will be I1. When value of S1 is 1 and S0 is 0, the value of F will be I2. When S1 and S0, they both are equal to 1, the value of F will be equal to I3.